Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Thank you, thank you. Where are they from? Uh, is it Quay? I think Quay. Yeah. I like them. Yeah. So I'm just curious. You you suffered your your knee injury last year against Central Michigan. Central Michigan. Mm -hmm. Was it against Luke Gadecki or? No, it was non-contact. Oh, it was wow. non-contact. Yeah. So I, I don't even think I was uh, on his side um, that I can remember. But yeah, it was non-contact. So I don't know. Who it was at that at the time? Against him in that game? I think so. Um, we probably had a couple of reps uh, against each other, um, but pretty good player. Gosh, how crushing was that for you, though? Especially you know when it's supposed to be a pivotal year in your life, you oh. an injury like that. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Um, it's nothing I haven't been through before, so I knew how to what to expect and what I need to do to get back. Um, to myself, so I'm still just going through that process and getting back to normal rehabbing and just getting back out there and you know getting that feel for everything again. Yeah, where are you at right now in that recovery? Right now I'm like seven months, eight months out. Um, so now it's just like the mental part, just getting back to like football drills, like training, like weight room stuff, and getting in shape, like and stuff like that. So um, I'm pretty uh, ahead of schedule, um, but it's it's been well though. It's been good. You anticipate being 100 percent or close to 100. Training, training, training camp, camp. Mm -hmm. training camp. Thank you. In that game too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Early in that game. Yep. I did. I did. <laughs> How far away after that play? So it happened right. So uh, that happened early on in the game. So I think it was right before the two minute it was going out for like two minute drill right before the half. Um, and I think that first that first play of two minute drill that's when it, that's when it happened. High and the low in that same Yeah, game. exactly. It was crazy, and I was pretty hot. So like, I was like two minute drill before the half. So you know they about to start throwing the ball. So that's when you, you want to get the get to the quarterback. So and and that's when it, it happened. You were off to a really good start that season too. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. great start. Oh, it's been so emotionally just. Oh yeah, it was. You know, just because it's your your senior year, obviously, and you started off so great. Um, so you know coming into yourself and becoming a team leader and the amount of stuff that we went through uh, years before, um, you know, it's just a lot, but a lot of emotions. But um, like I said, it was something I've been through. Like I went, uh, had an injury my freshman year, so I kind of knew what to expect, so. You also know then, because you already had that injury before, you, you know about the fear that, that that's one of those final hurdles that you have to overcome when you're right. back out there. It's not just about getting physically back. It's mm -hmm. it's. Okay, is it going to hold up? Is is my knee going to hold up when I right. when I'm out here? Is it going to? I mean, non-contact injury that that's exactly. Like, I mean, that that's always so shocking. It's one thing when it's contact, but when it's non-contact, you're like, can I trust my body again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the 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 uh, the process that I'm going through right now, like going out there doing drills and team and stuff like that. Um, just knowing like you all right, you know, trying to push it in your head that you good, it's healed. You know, you just gotta. You know, get back used to moving and trusting that it's it's gonna it's gonna be fine. So, you're tight with, with Devin, obviously mm -hmm. playing together at LSU. Mm -hmm. How exciting is it to, to come to this organization that's got a friendly face and, and obviously has an affinity for LSU players? Oh, real exciting! Guys. You know, um, Devin's been great here as well as he's been at uh, LSU. Then you got Leonard, then they just got Russ um, Russell Gage, and you still got Sarah. So, um, you got to couple of you know LSU guys so that I've I've been around so that I know well so it's good to be around you know people that you know that can give, kind of give you a head up of, of what to expect and stuff like that so uh not really um mm. how when you have an injury like that and, and you know so much can happen in a player's final year in college like how did that kind of I guess if anything impact your development and some of the areas that you wanted to improve in that maybe you didn't get a chance to improve on? Um, just kind of just keeping in the back of my head coming back what I was trying to get you know get done as far as like improvement on like pass rush or run or just in the game in general um, so when I do get back out there and stuff like remember that also remembering the stuff that I was good at and some of that's gonna come natural like some of it's been coming natural just getting back out there but still working on the stuff that I, I haven't been doing um, and just getting back to just playing football in itself, you know, it's like kind of like a new knee again. So you got to kind of get back used to, you know, moving. And like I said, the main thing is it's mental right now. It's mental, like trusting and being able, like you good, like just go, you know, so. What are the, some of the things that you wanted to 
to work on as a pass rusher that, you know, once fully healthy, you'll be able to do. I don't know, some guys, they get to the next level, like it's hand usage. Some guys, they want to work a little more on, like, their counter. Like, where, where would you say you're at in your development? Uh, like mine was staying active, you know, um, just not having, like, one move in my head. And, like, you know, if that doesn't move, that doesn't work, then, you know, I'm stuck. Uh, just kind of being active, um, being violent, like, I, once I, if that move don't work, go to another one. You know, just keep going because you never know when is when something's going to work and you can get there. So that was my like my main thing. And I know a lot of guys when they get to the next level, it's a lot of times you hear that it's like, all right, they need a they need to actually have like a plan or a better plan, like a mm -hmm. rush plan. Um, I, I guess for you, like when you are sidelined your senior year, are, are you able to? benefit more from like some of those mental reps and looking oh, yeah. at, like were you able to kind of do that where um, you know you're thinking in your head more so like all right this is how I would attack this guy because that's just one thing I hear a lot when guys come to the next mm -hmm. level that, that sometimes they don't always have that they just rely on talent and, and right. physical gifts versus actually having a clear this is how I'm going to attack this guy this is how I'm going to attack this guy in right this it's being coachable like even when I got done being hurt being on the sideline with the younger guys like seeing stuff that they probably weren't able to see so I guess me coaching kind of helped me for as like the mental aspect of the game um, to let them know what I saw, you know, maybe this will work, maybe that don't work. Same thing like coming here, you see some of the older guys that you've seen on TV or stuff like that, like seeing what they see, like what you saw in this, just learning from each other. Um, but the main thing, you know, the best way to, you know, they say to learn is like to coach, like kind of. So um, me coaching up them, I learned a lot about myself and like some other stuff that I could uh, get better at. So it was good. Look at, at the depth chart. We see Joe Tryon, Shoenka, Shaq Bear at the top, Anthony Nelson's experienced bet. You're going to have to make this team playing special teams, mm -hmm. right, coming against the seventh round pick. How much special teams did you play at LSU? What's your affinity for that? Obviously, I'm sure the coaches have been telling you that you're going to have to be a uh, factor on fourth down. I played um, punt. That was about the only thing I played in, uh, in college. Um, so I got a feel for that. Um, but... Um, when I first started LSU, you know, you, same thing, like, kind of here, you get uh, used to playing kind of everything to see where you fit in because uh, you have, like, older guys who've been there. Um, but um, just seeing what, you know, works for you, where you fit best at on whatever special teams are, um, or something like that. So, but my most experience was on, on punt. When you're a later on draft pick, um, you're, you're not guaranteed a roster spot. And so the guys that come in here are having to be, like, they're soaking up everything like a sponge and they're trying to do everything they can. How hard is it when you can't actually do everything that you can because you're still rehabbing an injury? Um, do the most. Do do what you can do, and you know what you can do. Go 100% at it, um, regardless of the situation where you got picked. You know, um, do do what you can. In, in my situation, uh, coming in, you know, hurt. Like I said, just do what you can, and when you when you can do something, go hard at it, so they can see. Okay, you know, he's trying, and it, he's he's you know steady developing. Even if it's a meeting room, right? Right, like, right. Showing that you know the playbook. So when it's time to get out there, okay, we can trust that he knows what he's doing. Um, so it's not just going out there and see uh, what you can do physically. So. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.